Hey guys, what's up? It's the Third Knight here, and welcome to my Fremnic Isles quest guide. I sort of love how I said in my latest progress video I would try to make a five day uh, video marathon happen, but you know, it's been two days since uploading that, and yeah, so sorry about that, but hopefully this video makes up for it. Anyway, let's just jump into it. So to start the Fremnic Isles quest, you'll need to have completed the Fremnic Trials quest, as well as have level 20 construction, 40 agility, 46 crafting, 56 woodcutting, and you also have to be able to defeat a level 122 troll. Keep in mind that some of the levels are boostable and not required as per the instructions shown on the slide. If you are boosting your agility level, I would recommend a summer's pie, and if you are boosting your crafting level, I would recommend a crafting potion. The recommendations for this quest are 43 plus prayer for access to all the protection prayers, some prayer potions if you are, lobsters are better food for the final boss fight, a player owned house in Releka so you can teleport easily to the quest start, and super energy potions if you can afford them just to speed up the quest by being able to run everywhere instead of walk. The items required are on the slide shown on screen now, they should be fairly self explanatory, it will be easiest and fastest to have all of the items required in either your inventory or your bank before starting the quest. However, I have indicated whether the items are obtainable during the quest if you're having trouble getting them, or if you just don't mind getting them during the quest. So feel free to pause the video now while you check what items you need. The rewards for completing the Fremenic Isles quest are 1 quest point, 14k coins, 10k XP in any 2 combat skills, 5k crafting XP, 5k construction XP, 10k woodcutting XP, a Helm of Netsy Knot which is better in all respects to the Berserker Helm although it does require level 55 defense to wear and access to a Runite Vein. To begin the quest, speak to Maud Gunners north of Relica on the jetty and ask him about Jadazo's history. He will tell you about a king and two of his sons that ruled long ago. Once you've finished getting through that dialogue, ask him to ferry you to Jadazo. Once on Jatsio, head north through the gate. West of the bank you will find the king. Talk to him and he will ask you to get some raw tuna for his cat who keeps interrupting your conversation. If you don't have some already, go back to the docks and fish some with your harpoon. When you have your raw tuna, take it back to the king and he will proceed with his conversation. Now some red axe miners have arrived in the middle of the king's story, so you're going to have to help them out until you can continue with the king's conversation, and to do that you need to collect either some tin ore, coal, or some mithril ore. Now that sounded a bit confusing because I said ore a lot there, but basically you just need to get the ore corresponding to your mining level, which was on the slide I previously showed with all the items required. Now if you don't already have them in your bank or in your inventory, then just go northwest and climb down the hole which will be underneath the pickaxe symbol and inside there you'll be able to find some rock respawns for all of those types of ore or coal and once you have them take them back to the king or if you have them in your inventory talk to the king again and he will give you 5k coins if you had the mithril ore, 2k if you collected the coal or slightly less than that if you collected the tin he will then want you to go back to Netsy Knot and look for his spy master so pick up the Jester's costume from the chest behind the throne and head back to the docks. So the same way that you came to Jatsio. Talk to Maud Gunners to go back to Releka. Then talk to Maria Gunners to go to Netsy Knot. Head up the path to the city and proceed in. You'll find another guy there called, well first name Slug, I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce his last name and he's going to be north of the bank in a Jester's costume with a broken arm. Ask him for free stuff please and he will tell you to infiltrate the burgers quarters. Now equip all of the silly Jester clothing and make sure your hands are free. Then head to the building south of the bank and talk to Mornus and he will basically, you basically just have to pretend you're a jester by using the jester control panel. I, it's really embarrassing, I actually forgot to record this part with Camtasia, so I don't have any footage of it. But it's really simple, it's just like the mime random event, he'll ask you to do an emote or talk to a puppet or something. And you just do the action that corresponds to what is asks. Once you've done that, go back to Slug, or aka the spy master, who's behind the bank, and answer his questions. 
they will be about what the gods talked about. The answers to the three questions will be in this order and exactly as I say, in two days, 17 militia, two bridges. Once you've answered the questions, he'll reward you with 2.5k coins and you can get on with the next part of the quest. Talk to Mornus again, this time without the Jester's outfit on, and he'll ask you to bring him 8 pieces of rope. If you don't have them, you can make them by killing a yak and then spinning the yak hair on the spinning wheel within the Netsy Knot village. Talk to Mornus again after you have the 8 pieces of rope. You'll be rewarded 1k coins for them, and then he'll ask you to chop down and split 8 arctic pine logs. Head to the yak pen and inside there there'll be plenty of arctic pine trees. Cut eight logs and then go back to the center of the Netsy Knot town and split them on the woodcutting stump. Take the split pines back to Mortis. He'll reward you with 1.5k coins. Now head north to the broken bridges and right click on them and select the repair option to fix them. Once finished, head back to Mornus. Talk to Mornus and he will give you 1.5k coins and then will tell you about his plans. They want to assault the troll caves. Mornus will ask you to find out if the king has heard of the, his plans. So sail back to Releka and then to Jatsio to talk to the king. After talking to the king, you'll learn that you need to collect taxes from people in the city. You actually need to collect taxes for each window that um, the shopkeepers have. So each window is worth 1k. Basically, all you need to do is visit um, each of the shopkeepers and talk to them. And basically, you'll just need to collect the tax from them. So start off by visiting the shopkeeper um, for the armorer's hut and collect 8k coins. Then the weaponsmith hut and collect 6k coins. Then the eating hole and collect 5k coins. And finally the food shop and collect 5k coins again. And you'll end up with a total of 24k coins and talk to the king again. After collecting the window tax and talking to the king again, it turns out that that money wasn't enough. So now you're actually going to create a new tax, which is for facial hair. And so you're going to need to talk to Raum Erdestein, who is in the armor trader shop. You're going to need to collect a tax from him. You'll need to collect a tax from Haring Haring. You're going to need to collect a tax from Scully Mjerka, who is in the weapon trader shop. You're going to need to collect a tax from Flossy Daxon. Dolkson, I don't know how to pronounce these names, but I'm trying, in the raw fish um, seller shop. And then you're going to need to talk to Keeper Ketelon, who is in the um, food trading shop. And yeah, his, each person's going to pay 1k coins. Once you've collected that final tax, you're going to need to talk to the king again. Once all the taxes have been collected, the king will ask you to go back to Netsinot to find out who has been helping to repair the bridges. So head back to Netsy Knot by taking the boat from Jatsio back to Releka Jetty and then from Releka Jetty to Netsy Knot. Then run back into the town and talk to the spy master behind the bank. He will tell you to spy on Mornus again. So equip the Jester costume with no hand slots taken up and talk to Mornus and once you've finished going through all the Jester costume controls um, just like the Mime Renner event and just like you did before you need to go back to the Spy Master and tell him the following answers which are as follows Exetria Potions and I'm helping Netsy not. The Spy will then pay you 2.5k coins now head back to the king on Jatsio by taking the boat from Netsy Knot 
back to the Rileka Jetty, and then from the Rileka Jetty, going to Jatsio. Talk to the king, and he will lock the doors, and then you'll start to insult him about all the ridiculous things he's been doing. The king will then decide that Netsinot is trying to steal all the glory of killing the trolls, and will have you take a decree back to Mornus on Netsinot, telling him that Jatsio is going to attack the trolls. So head back to the Rileka Jetty and take a boat from the Rileka Jetty back to Netsinot. Deliver the decree to Mornus and he will tell you that you must create the proper equipment to fight the trolls. So now you're obviously going to need to create the equipment to fight the trolls. So to do this, start off by obtaining three yak hides. And so you can basically just go to the yaks pen and kill three yaks or pick them up off the ground if some other people are already killing yaks. And then go back to the same room where Mornus is in and talk to a guy called Thakrad Sigmundson. And he will cure them for you. Then with your needle and thread, if you don't already have these, you can buy them from the um, store next to the bank at Netsy Knot. Use your needle um, on the hides and then craft the top and bottom of the armor. So you now have a yak armor top and a yak armor bottom. Speak to Mornus to learn about the last item you must craft. Mornus will tell you to make a shield. To make the shield, you need to cut two arctic pines and then go to the stump in the middle of the town again. Craft the shield using the bronze nails, a rope and a hammer. Talk to Mornus once you've made your shield and you also have your um, Yakide armor top and Yakide armor bottom and he's going to appoint you champion of net, you know. So now you're going to need to kill the troll king and to do that you can just go to the bank and stock up on some prayer potions and food depending on your prayer level and everything. Um, I do recommend a minimum of um, lobsters at least in terms of food. Uh, sharks would be ideal. It all just depends how much you are willing to risk. And keep in mind that it sort of is a fairly dangerous fight. You know, getting there, it is a multi-combat area and you can get um, ranged by a lot of trolls at once. And also when you're in there, it's going to be a multi-combat area besides when you actually go and fight the um, king. So it is actually a, a fair bit of a dangerous um, fight if you're a fairly low level character. So make sure you wear the Yakide armor and Yakide top as that does reduce the um, damage done by the trolls. And then bring whatever um, helmet and weapon and everything you're comfortable to bring along as well as hopefully um, have good stats. And yeah, so once you've got all of that, head north and go over the bridges and then go over the bridge that you helped repair. And eventually you'll come to sort of like a um, sort of like a snowy island and you're gonna have to head all the way east of that island there'll be a bunch of different caves but the one that you can only enter is sorry the only one you can enter is the cave to the far east and once you get there head down that cave once you've entered the cave you'll see a cutscene and after that you're going to have to kill 10 trolls before you can face the troll king you can request supplies from Bork, such as Tuna, four strength potions, and two prep potions. So use them whenever you need to. Try to fight um, only one of the trolls at a time just to reduce the damage you're taking. Um, you're taking, sorry, and use protection prayers if you can so that you're not damaged. Once you've killed 10 of them, head south and jump over the bridge. Now you're going to need to kill the Troll King. The Troll King is level 122, so be wary. It does hit a fair bit, if you're, um, especially if you're not using Protection Prayers. Use the Protect from Range Prayer as you fight him, if you're going to use any Protection Prayers. He will sometimes use Ice Barrage and freeze you, so be careful with that. You cannot range this boss at all, either. He'll be completely unaffected. And after the battle is over, de decapitate his head, and then jump over the Eastern Bridge, and go the same way that you came to get into the cave and all the way back to Netsy Knot and talk to Mornus. After you talk to Mornus, you will complete the quest. So congratulations, you have now completed the Fremenic Isles quest. You'll have a fancy helm as well as some other nice rewards. And yeah, so congratulations. I really hope you found this guide um, informative and useful. 
Uh, if you have any tips or anything or something that you would like to see in a future quest guide or something you reckon I could improve on, feel free to leave a comment and um, sort of just outline what you think I could be improving on and, you know, that will be great. I'll add that to the next quest guide I make. Feel free to also subscribe for more future old school RuneScape quest guides. I have said in previous videos, but I'll say it again, I am aiming for quest cape at the moment on my character on old school RuneScape and so I'll be making a quest guide for every single old school RuneScape quest from now until then. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next video.